and how you've always got to be aware of tension seekers. So there's all kind of a theme here. You know, online journalists these days that call themselves activists are attention seekers themselves because they're in a dying industry. No one's funding their bullshit no more. All these all these media outlets are going down the fucking toilet. They're all desperate. Legacy media is desperate as well. So they're all just trying to strive for attention with their shitty, weak-ass, clickbaity articles and you just got to ignore these attention seekers because like i said they will convince just to keep a narrative going that will get them paid they'll convince you that fucking um annika rice is a white supremacist why wow you clicked on it didn't you there you go she's blonde that's good enough to be a far-right white supremacist these days i suppose in the world of far-right supremacy now Miley Cyrus is someone I would call a massive attention seeker now obviously because you know child star and grew up and did the usual thing when you know when a, a little a, a little girl is a singer and shit and then she becomes a woman they want to revamp her image what they do well they whore her up they turn her into a whore they done it to Britney they done it to Christina Aguilera it's the standard playbook. It's like, oh, you've come of age now. You're not making little girly songs anymore. You're a woman now. What do you do when you're a woman now? Well, you become a fucking whore, don't you? Just hoe yourself out. Go and shake your ass with a bunch of rappers and smoke blunts and shit. Get get a train rung on you by fucking... <clears throat> by Juicy J's fucking entourage. You know, do that. Do that. You're a woman now. Welcome to womanhood, motherfucker. Then Miley Cyrus is like... She just... Now... See, I don't believe in uh, the whole cultural appropriation thing. Is like, eh, it's so subjective. It's like whatever. But culture vulturing, now that's a real fucking thing. Now, culture vulturing doesn't necessarily mean you're being a vulture of of uh, certain ethnic culture or anything. It's just any culture that you're not really down with. And then it's when it's popping or you think it's going to serve yourself and you're not really into it, then you jump on it. Could be geek culture. Could be Japanese culture. Could be like. LGBTQ plus whatever culture any kind of culture as long as it's cool at the moment yeah you're jumping it and that's exactly what Miley Cyrus did because let's not forget she was Hannah Montana uh, she's fucking Billy Ray Cyrus's daughter oh but no and then she starts working with Mike Will made it and suddenly she's talked about in the hip hop press and is part of hip hop culture she was she just, ju- she just fucking vultured it then a few years later has the nerve to go no, I don't like rap. No, I turned her back away. Well, now apparently she's going back to rap now as well. So, because her last album didn't do shit, I expect. Well, I don't remember. Do you remember anything off that last album? No. No one remembers nothing, do they? No. Fucking got on MTV Music Awards with a pancake ass trying to shake it. It was an embarrassment to all, all white girls across the world. It was an embarrassment. A real own goal there, whitey. White girls across the world had a real own goal. On behalf of someone they thought was one of their own. Well, oh, she stabbed you in the back, why you? White girls, you got played. They made you look fucking stupid. Oh, that wasn't good. So Miley Cyrus. And now she's just going to come out with just some just some nonsense. I mean, would you believe anything that came out of her fucking mouth? Like, oh, have you got an album coming out? Right. Gender is irrelevant in modern relationships, says multi-millionaire over-pampered child star turned whore my <laughs> bit, bit harsh there. <laughs> but um gender is relevant in modern relationships bullshit what a load of nonsense Marty Cyrus who identifies as pansexual now you see this this whole the whole pansexual thing is is just is just mind-boggling to me. It's like, all right, okay, so you know, I, just because I love something, and, and it's just, just as soon as you see hear someone explain what pansexual is, you just you start to just go, it's just an eye roller. It's an eye roller. It's like, oh god, like it just sounds like someone. It just sounds like a really pretentious choice. That's all I'm going to say on it. Now, like people would be very upset about that and say, oh my god, what are you saying? Oh, blah, blah, blah just saying on paper it just sounds very pretentious it sounds like oh god really oh i'm not defined by the the, the, oh shut up for goodness sake just get on with it would you no one cares it's literally like something like whatever 
please can I just get on with my day if that's okay with you it just it just it just seems like a pretentious choice you know there's all the thing about you know you go bisexuals you're like okay uh, greedy you know what I'm saying let's just go greedy straight boring you know gay done that lesbian <laughs> Madonna in the 90s you know we had loads of fake lesbians back in the day now pansexual you're like Oh, just give me a break. Come on. So, um, like, uh, so irrelevant. I mean, how do you... Right. Is, uh, gender is almost irrelevant in modern relationships like hers with husband Liam Hensworth. What do you think her husband thinks about this? She says the couple are redefining what it looks like for a queer person to be in a heterosexual relationship. See, that's where I'm done, man. Uh, th that's where I'm just done with certain things. Like, a queer person to be in a heterosexual relationship. Says the couple are redefining... Well, obviously, because back in the day, when it was illegal... Then if you was a queer person in a heterosexual relationship, you're doing it as a front to your illegal activity. Okay, so there's no need to do it now, is there, I suppose? Pansexual people like Miley are attracted to individuals regardless of their gender. Which I guess goes against... So maybe pansexual is is the true... Is the... Is the... Is the... Is the... Is the... Is the true sexual preference? Like the most is uh, the most is 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 uh, uh, I don't know what is it the best one because instead of just you know basing everything upon some sort of intersectional belief of like you know I am you know I don't know I am Mongolian therefore I will only sleep with Mongolians and uh, now you're saying oh I'm going to base it on individual merit eh, well, there's a change All right so it's based on individual merit. Uh, regardless of their gender, people fall in love with people, not gender, not looks, not whatever. Yeah, yeah well, you can, you can love many. I think it's just someone who just doesn't know the meaning of love, or just doesn't just doesn't quite get how it's all supposed to work. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can love lots of different people, but like it's the one you want to just uh, bang until you drop dead is the uh, it's the main. Main sort of, uh, sort of thing. Sex is actually a small part, and gender is a very small part, almost a relevant part of relationships. Now, I don't know what relationship she's talking about, but if you're in a relationship where where sex is a very small part um, of your relationship, now I'd say your um, your relationship fucking sucks. So, you know, I'd get out of it. Miley has that being part of the LGBT community is something she's proud of. See, this is what I'm saying. This is what I said about. Look, I don't know nothing about pansexuality. I just think, I just think it just sounds like something when people say it and going, "Really, you just sound like it just sounds like something an asshole would do." Because I'm telling you, these are fucking attention seekers, man. This is why I'm getting very skeptical about this. She's an attention seeker. Attention seekers will do whatever. They don't give a fuck what they do. Look at Jussie Smollett. These motherfuckers don't care. It doesn't matter what it is. Going, well, I don't know. I don't know anything. What's cool and popping at the moment? Oh, like she's a culture vulture, and she's all she's an ultimate culture vulture. Uh, if you're in the LGBTQ community, I'd boot her out, man. Boot her out. I'd boot her out because she's an attention seeker. I can spot an attention seeker a mile away. All these people just they're literally going. It's it's like I don't have. It's like I'm pansexual. I'm just attracted to fucking everything, like saucepans and cups. Just anything. It's just personality based. Your dog, yeah, I'll have a go. Like, it, 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 and then the, and then you join a protected group, um, and then you're in a protected group, and you say, "I am like you." And I, and I'm like, look, what about the OG gays and the OG lesbians who had to go through all the bullshit, and then this fucking fly by night numb nuts walks in because it's convenient for a career to be in this community. I'd be so fucking pissed off. I'd be like, "No, get out." Man, man, woman. Do you see? I'm like, like these. Ah, oh, see, I just see. I can. Oh, I can smell the boy. I just smell bullshit. And when I smell bullshit, I'm just like, oh god, will you stop it? Would you? Yeah. Who you're with doesn't fundamentally change who you are. Whatever. Miley is someone I can look at. Let's see that she's my contemporary and she's really open, says Maggie Basker, a US born 26 year old who is pansexual and married to a man. It will encourage all her fans not to feel ashamed because even if they do get married, what's going to happen? You're just with someone. That doesn't change who you are fundamentally, and that's a really beautiful message. 
What? See, this is this is nonsense. <laughs> if you're gonna say like I'm, I'm attracted to who, I'm attracted to whoever I'm in love with, but it's not about gender. Then sure, you are just bisexual, like. Because then you're just you're just attracted to anybody. Just to, to invent a new thing. And no, I'm not bisexual. I'm pansexual, as in I only am attracted to the people based on their personality, not necessarily their gender. Right, but you'll still, but you'll get with a boy or a girl. So it's like, right. So you've just invented something. You've just made it. I swear, it's just, it's just a made-up lunacy. It's like, it's just, ah, oh man, it's just so annoying. It's like, oh, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful message that you don't change who you are when you're in a relationship. It's like, yes, it's, it's a fucking girl and a boy in a relation. This is what blows my fucking mind. It's the most traditional. It's the most traditional relationship you can get. It's fucking thousands of years old, and somehow. We're supposed to somehow this motherfucker has convinced us that this is like something brave and new. That like, oh, I'm attracted to, uh, uh, I'm pansexual and I'm in a heterosexual relationship. Like what? What? And we're supposed to be mind blown by it. I'm supposed to be mind blown about the progress of humanity right now. And go, wow! I didn't know this could ever happen. Someone who is attracted to men is married to a man. This is crazy. Well, who? Well, what? Well, wow! Think of all. The think my grandma would turn in her grave at such things because you would never have heard of such a thing back oh, this is a, oh what a beautiful message you can be whatever you want you can just say i'm into this i'm into that and go marry that well fantastic this is this is the most convoluted oh is convoluted is that the right word it's just something that makes me go Ugh. this is like it's like a non it's like it's like a non-event been made to be something really significant what is wrong with you like there's nothing about this that makes me go oh, wow Woo! we have we have we have broken through the car ceiling we have ended all bigotry like shut up so Maggie, before meeting her husband, Maggie dated both men and women. Maggie says being pansexual brings her and her brings her and her husband closer together. He can appreciate whoever he wants because I appreciate that form as well. She says. I understand my relationship, and whoever you're attracted to is different to our relationship, and that's separate. Most recently, Maggie and her husband found they shared a mutual attraction to Lady Gaga. Oh well, a threesome. Perhaps on the on the cards. In Miley's interview, she says her attraction to Liam is more spiritual than it is sexual, and that's something Maggie relates to. I want to come home to someone I've never gotten bored of. That per that person. It's me saying this person is the one I want to be with, regardless of who they are. She says, I just connect with them personality word. Good God, these these people are so amazing. This is such amazing human. They are such amazing human beings. That they can just be attracted to someone's personality, not like not like the rest of us, us fucking straight and gay and lesbian and bisexual deviants that have a preference. No, forget about our preferences. These people are breaking the fucking mold because they're just attracted to personality, unlike other people. You know, <laughs> what lesbians? But they only like women. <laughs> they're fakers. They don't like women, so therefore they don't like people's personalities. It's all sex, 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 and no spirituality. Well, no, we're special. Miley Cyrus and me, we're a special breed because we're just attracted to personality. It's like, my God. How, how, how the fuck do you let people like this hoodwink the entire world with their non with this nonsense? Like, uh, like, how, like, you're extra, like, you're not extra special. You are not extra special because of this you just sound like a complete asshole you sound like the most pretentious the most pretentious non-entity of, of just of, of of catastrophically boring fucking degrees it's just like what the fuck i want to come home to someone yeah yeah yeah, yeah. attraction and relationship is separate and Maggie says the approach she and Miley take towards openness in their relationship could be applied to any relationship regardless of sexuality oh thanks 
It's the benefit of being able to have the open communication say, yes, all bodies are beautiful, she says. I understand we're in a relationship and whoever you're attracted to is different to our relationship and that's separate. What the fuck? What is this girl doing? What is this? Is this? Is this? Is this? This is someone. Okay, we'll see how that works in any fucking relationship. Like, they think they're transcendent. Like, how, how up your own ass can you be to say a statement like that and think that's going to work out? I is like, right, go on, give it a try. Give it a try. Do it to your girlfriend. Do it to your boyfriend. Whoever you are, do it. Like, go on. Go on. Try, try that one. Try that one. It's beautiful to be that open communication. Yes, it's openness. Attraction and relationship is separate. Because we are. We are a far superior type of sexuality where we are better than all of you. All of you scumbags. Other? Yes, that's right. You other fucks, you other sexuality, you other people that are into reserve stuff, you can try this too. Go and see if it works. I understand we're in a relationship, but whoever you're attracted to is different to our relationship, and that's separate. Go. Okay, give it a try. Say to your partner, all the people you go, I'm attracted to them, but it's fine, because it's different to being in a relationship, because I'm just attracted to your soul. Your ugly, stinking body, on the other hand, repulses me. But it's all right. I'm just attracted to your spiritual beauty that's shining out of your face. Okay? See if that works. God, give it a try. I fucking dare you. You're living in cloud lala. Cloud cuckoo land, man. Fucking the lights are on. But the house has been ransacked and burgled. Grandma is upstairs with a bullet in her head. You fucking imbeciles. Mm. Uh, it's, it's just like good gracious, gracious me I haven't read so much toss in my, like this is absolute toss absolute complete just uh, just vacuous nonsense like these are the people we're supposed to listen to these fucking people why I mean I've never heard such nonsense in my life okay bodies are beautiful this whole thing and it's so brave and look we, we're redefining what modern relationships look like a man married to a woman who who openly is attracted to other people wow you have completely changed society fucking good brilliant that was really good ah uh. Uh, uh, my god that melted my brain you know sorry I just want to click on this and see what else is going on I mean look look <laughs> I mean look <clears throat> Do what you want. Be who you want to be. It's fine. Like, but don't. But but don't. Uh, just just stop with the nonsense. To stop like making. There seems to be a hell of a lot of stuff going on nowadays where people are bigger themselves right up, seeking attention, and trying to make out that what they're doing is something miraculously modern and brave, and just just fucking inspiring and it's changing the entire world and changing everything because it because it ain't it, there's people out there who literally do nothing they do absolutely nothing and and think they're doing something fucking amazing and think everyone should be praising them for what they're doing and they're doing nothing it, it, like what i'm not having it i'm not having it this is mental what is wrong with people? Just like this is these these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers. this is like I remember working as a cleaner and this woman this woman like I I cleaned I used to work for old, old man cleaning. That's how I learned how to clean offices and shit, right? And that was like working work this woman and she had like a fucking MVQ level two cleaning certificate. And I was like going that, that's the most retarded thing to pay for in the world. Like I'm sorry, but like like cleaning it's like it's dirty. Clean it. If you're gonna go to college and waste money, just do something better. And she, this motherfucker, comes in, and I've like we're cleaning the hotel rooms. I've cleaned the hotel room. <clears throat> it's clean. It's time to. Well, it's time to leave. What was this bitch doing? She started dusting the ceiling. She was dusting. She got a feather duster and started dusting the ceiling. 
There's nothing on the ceiling. She's actually dusting the ceiling. You know, stuff falls off the ceiling. It's gravity. There's no cobwebs there. It took an extra five minutes on each room to clean. Do And she literally, she was doing nothing, pretending she was doing something. This is what... You'll see him at work. Wherever you've worked, you know there's a motherfucker around there, like, doing nothing. Making out they're doing something. Or pretending... Or making it look like they're doing something. Like when people... Like going to see a psychiatrist who just repeats back everything you say as if they're doing something. Or a fucking, I don't know, a fireman who's pissing on the fire. I don't know what I'm talking about now. Where enough is enough of these attention-seeking nobodies trying to make out that they're doing something when they're doing absolutely nothing. It's ridiculous. Next time you meet someone who says they're an activist or you see them saying they're an activist and all they've done, all they do is, is fucking tweet and go on marches, punch them in the face. Just, just, you know, just, or spit on them. Set fire to their house. No, I'm joking, joking. I'm not in, don't do that. Don't do that, it's a really silly thing to do. Don't do anything I suggested to. But at least tell them they're silly. You know, we don't want to be causing violence, but at least just say to them, you're ridiculous. Please go away. That's all you need to do. Like, just just call them out you need to call these people out like they need to be called out with their nonsense because it's, it's just getting out of hand like I'm, I'm I've had enough of people getting praised and like, just making stuff just people just make stuff up now and just go oh I need to be praised why I don't know I just made it like you can literally make up some sexual persuasion or make up some gender and then expect to be praised for doing it Oh, I'm part of this group, and we have been and like it's like no one could, no one's oppressed you. This life hasn't been hard for you because no one knows what it bloody is. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I mean? It's like making up some sort of ethnic group and going, yeah, well, I'm fucking, I'm Habadaba Wanda Banda. You what? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're from this island off fucking North Pacific somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's just like, I just make stuff up. I'm a fucking Martian. Like, just, just no. No, no, no. No, I will not. I will not. I will not. These attention seekers, man. All in plain sight. All in plain sight. Thinking that people haven't lived long enough to know what time it is. Like, to think they can just get away. Like, what? Do they think all the adults have gone home? Like, what is it? Do they think people with life experience and adults who know what an attention-seeking little twat is, do they think that all those people just don't have eyes and ears anymore? That they've just... Fought, all our eyes have fallen out and that we're just going to just just go, oh, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, right. Like, what do they... What? More people need to call people out. <clears throat> like, the real shit. Like, there's a, there's a very silent... You got this hugely vocal minority that are just full of nonsense, causing all the stink, and everyone else is just sat there just just saying nothing. You need to start speaking up, like just saying, just you know, don't be mean to people. You know, don't talk about people the way I do, because I'm doing this for your entertainment. That's why I ramp it right up, isn't it? You know, you know, I don't really think that everyone's a attention-seeking whore bag gobshite. You know, I wouldn't say that to everybody. Just call out and go. Can you please stop your nonsense, please? Shh. You know, just go. Shh. Just do a shush emoji. Go. Shh. That'll be the new thing. Hashtag. Shh. And the shush emoji. Just tweet that at people. Just go. Hush. Shut it. <laughs>